hello and welcome to my channel my name is Nicola okay so today we're going to be doing some yoga for shoulders and neck and for back pain so we're going to start with a few neck rolls so we're going to grow tall in the spine shoulders over the rib cage rib cage over the abdomen and then we're just going to take the head over towards the right head comes down towards the chest and then over towards the left. Circle the head back slowly gently back over towards the right, down to the chest and over to the left. Breathing deep. Flowing with breath, flowing with grace, flowing with ease. Feel that stretch along the side of the neck as you come back up over towards the left, feeling that side of the neck on the left. And slowly release, come back up, grow tall. And then taking the left ear over towards the left shoulder and then rotate down towards the chest, over towards the right and back. Flowing with breath, flowing with grace, flowing with ease. At any time throughout your practice you need to rest, feel free to do so. Reminder, I'm just here as a guide. If you feel sharp pain, please come out of the practice. Or any discomfort, any deeper than a 4 to 6 out of 10, please go gently into the pose. slowly slowly come back so from here I'm going to come into a cat and cow so hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips four fingers plant at 12 o'clock spread out the fingers curl the fingers feeling the pads of the fingertips and the knuckles of the hands micro bend the elbows maybe not dumping in the shoulders so you feel that abdomen engage inhale up to our cat or bitty last of Exhale, around the shoulders and fold in. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. So you feel it in the abdomen and shoulders warming up the spine. Three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Take the knees out wide, big toes together, sit bones down to the heels, come into child's pose. Hands stretching out long, relax the elbows, relax the arms. Maybe resting on your forehead or on your chin, listening to your body, not going too deep. And slowly slowly come back up knees come together and slowly come down to the abdomen coming into sphinx so elbows underneath the shoulders or just a little bit further ahead if that feels really uncomfortable engage the glutes to protect the lower back shoulders pull back and down so again this is for the back and the shoulders so you also feel that lift in the abdomen and that's good for encouraging or discouraging appetite. Breathe. And then slowly take the elbows out wide. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Elbows tuck to the ribcage. Inhale, baby cobra, engage the glutes. 
Exhale, fold back down. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Release the hands down, take the hands back, back of the hands, stay towards the hips. This time we're going to inhale up, maybe float the legs and the shoulders up. So again, good for the shoulders and the lower back. Breathe. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. From here, we're going to bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Come back on to the knees. And then walk the hands out long, coming into a heart melting pose. Come down to the elbows, down to the forehead. So hips are above the knees this time. And again, this is really good for the shoulders, the spine. And breathing here. Or melting heart or she show us in a puppy pose. slowly raise the head, walk the hands back up. Then we come back to a seated position. Momentarily, we're going to take the right arm across the chest, level with the shoulder, press into the upper arm of the left hand, so releasing that shoulder. Nice little stretch here, breathe. And then from here, we're going to take the right hand behind the back, left hand to bind. Or if you don't bind, you can take a strap in between the hands and then extend the elbows out to each side. So like a diagonal position. And release, breathe. And release. Shoulders come up to the ears. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Bring the left arm across the chest. And press into the upper arm with the left hand. Feel that lovely stretch. Shoulder stays back and down. Breathe. And then from here, raising the left arm behind, in between the shoulders as you bring that right hand out to the side and reaching towards the hand to bind or using a strap. And then extend the elbows away from each other, a nice diagonal shape. Breathe. And then release the hands, bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale the shoulders back and down. Inhale up. Exhale back and down. Again. From here we're going to take both legs out long. We're going to shimmy shake the soft glutes away from the earth. Inhale as you 
bring the toes towards the nose, raising the hands up, exhale, fold into Paschimottanasana or seated forward fold. So the hands can float down to the knees, the shins, the ankles or the feet. Again, never forcing the body, breathe. And slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to cross the right foot over the left knee. You can either stay here with the left leg out long or you can fold the heel in towards the hip. And then left arm to the outside of the right knee. Right hand reaches behind the back. Now you can use a block here behind the hip if you wish. Grow tall is really important for the thoracic spine. And then exhale, twist. So Lord of the Fish Pose, or Ardha, Matsi and Jasana. Breathe. So it's really good for the IT band, the spine, the heart, the shoulders. And breathe. the legs and repeat on the other side extend the right leg out long toe towards the nose step the left foot over the right knee again you can either stay here or bring that right foot this time towards the left hip but only if both sit bones touch the earth right elbow to the outside of the left knee grow tall again really important for that thoracic spine the left hand reaches behind the hip Shoulders pull back and down, exhale, twist. And breathe. And slowly come back and cross the legs. So now we're going to swing the legs around, come back to the tabletop. We're going to curl under the toes, come into that downward facing dog. Now, in this pose, you can micro bend the knees, you can micro bend the elbows, or you can bend the knees quite deeply if you have issues with the shoulders. Maybe walking the dog, Adomaka Savanasana. Breathe. So, again, really good for the back, the spine, the shoulders. Giving yourself a full body stretch. And then slow walk up to meet the hands. Inhale, flat back to half. Way lift or Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale through heart center. We're going to step the right leg back. Coming into Warrior Two. Hips are facing towards the side. Reach the arms out long. Gazing over that middle finger. Still keeping tall in the spine, engage the inner thighs to protect the knees. Knee is coming out over the, maybe the second or third toe. And then straighten the leg. The micro bend in the knee, or again bend the knee deeply. Reach forwards and then tilt into extended triangle Utita Trikonasana. Now you can use a block here on the inside of the foot or ground into the calf. Your choice. Grounding into the back baby toe, heel toe mounds and the front. I feel like your shoulders are up against a wall. Maybe curl the baby finger in 
So you feel the engagement in the deltoid in the shoulder. Breathe. Neck extends long. Notice how that changes the pose. Slowly, slowly bend into the knee, come back up. Straighten out the leg, pivot on the left foot, pivot on the right. So you're facing the other way. Bend into that right knee this time again. Hips are facing to the sides. Knees over the second and third toe, or in line with second and third toe. Relax the shoulders, warrior two. And then straighten out that right leg with a micro bend in the knee. Reach forwards, kick out the hip towards the back. And then two. Extended triangle, Utita Trekonasana. Engaging through the back baby toe and the heel and the front toe bends. And heel. Again, you can use a block here. Resting on a block will help you to open the heart if your shoulders aren't that open yet. Extend the neck long and notice how that engages the core, which will protect the back. Breathing here. And then bend into the knee, slowly, slowly come back up. And then we're going to pivot on that back foot. Come back up to standing, inhale, rise up, exhale, bow down. Inhale, flat back, exhale, release, step back to the dog. Micro bend those knees if you need. And then come down to the knees, cross over the legs or swing the legs around, coming back onto your back. So we're going to roll down, reaching the hands forwards and roll down for five, four, three, two and one. Plant the hands down, bringing the heels in towards the sit bones. You can bring a block in between the thighs if you wish, strengthening the hips. And then inhale as you tuck the pelvis, engage the glutes, engage the quads, lift the hips up, coming into bridge, Satu Bandha, Sarvangasana, breathing here. Squeeze into that block, squeeze, even pressure in the inner thighs. Keeping that glute engagement, breathing. And slowly, slowly, slowly come back down, release the block to the side. I'm going to bring the knees in towards the chest, taking the arms out to a T. And then slowly, slowly lower the legs over towards the left side, only as far as you can go, flex the feet, inhale back to centre and take the knees over towards the right, inhale to centre, back to the left, breathing, inhale back to centre, Exhale to the right. One more time. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. And then slowly, slowly come back. So as you can feel, that really helps to massage out the sacral spine, lower spine and thoracic. Hug the knees in towards the chest, just rocking backwards and forwards. And then if you have lower back issues, you can come into sleeping teepee with the knees together, feet out to mat distance apart, or coming into final shavasana with the legs out long if you don't have any 
the lower back issues. Arms come away from the body, shoulders away from the ears, palms facing up, open to receive. Three nice long deep rounds of breath. Allowing your practice to nurture your body. Nice long deep breaths here. Exhale, letting it all go. Relaxing the jaw and allowing the tongue to release from the roof of the mouth. slowly slowly you can stay here as long as you wish in shavasana your choice or maybe starting to come out as you rock the knees backwards and forwards and maybe bringing the hands to the hamstrings and rocking rocking up to seated and just a few times here as you massage out the whole spine or if that's not available to you roll over onto your left side and slowly come up to a nice, easy seed position, whatever that is for you. You're gonna take a nice, long, deep breath, grow tall, and exhale, let it all go. Nice, long, deep breath as you raise the arms overhead, and exhale, the hands down through heart center. I'm grateful to share with you in this practice today. Please enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Namaste.